What is going on guys? Gray here. Today I want to talk about the four best specialists to run in a group. Now this might work better of course if you're playing with a group of friends, but these are also some really good spe uh, specialists that help out any group, whether you're playing with random people or friends. But if you're in a group with friends, these are going to be really good together. Also, there are a few of these that I want to talk about out of the out of these four that are good for solo play as well. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. First of all, on the list we have Sundance, and Sundance is phenomenal when it comes to group play or solo play, mainly because of that grenade belt. That grenade belt is absolutely ridiculous. But also, Sundance has access to the wingsuit, which replaces your parachute. Once you get the hang of the wingsuit and how to operate it, you can glide from for some insane distances. The wingsuit is pretty awesome. But the grenade belt is where Sundance shines. Now, of course, you have the scatter grenade, which is a multi-payload, anti-personal grenade, which is going to be a grenade you throw and it's going to split into multiple grenades and then explode. Very handy against infantry. The anti-armor grenade, which is a hand-launched micro drone. And this thing will trace tanks, jets, helicopters. It does not matter. And they do not have to be close. You can throw it and it will actually track these things at long distances. Now, flares will actually, if they pop flares, it will actually, you know, Kind of be like if you're chasing a, a helicopter with a helicopter, let's say, and you shoot missiles and they pop flares, those missiles are not going to hit, you know, of course, your target. But a lot of players are using a grenade launcher, you know, an AA launcher of some type, and these, uh, you know, grenades as well. So you can get a couple shots on it with the uh, launcher and then throw the grenade to finish it off. They're not going to blow a tank up or a helicopter up with just two of the grenades. You know, you ha actually have access to having two on cooldown. So, you know, you can throw two grenades and then it'll go on cooldown. And you'll have the access to all three again. Um, just keep in mind, if a, a vehicle is, is hurt, if it's had some damage taken off of it, these grenades can blow them up. But if you're going to throw two grenades at a full health tank or helicopter or jet, that's not going to do the trick. But with a group uh, of players running a, a rocket launcher, if Sundance is running the rocket launcher, you can finish all vehicles in game very, very quickly. Sundance, like I said, is also a good for are good for solo play just because of that grenade belt. That grenade belt is one of the greatest things in game, in my opinion. Uh, when it comes to Dozer, I would put Dozer on this list, but right now we don't have access to a shield. They have actually disabled it. Dice and EA have because of an issue with it. So this list is probably going to change in the future anyway with you know nerfs and buffs. But Dozer, I think, would be good, but I can't really say you know exactly how good he's going to be when we don't have access to the full kit. Another character that's great for group play out of the four is going to be Irish. Irish is another character that is great for solo play. This is one character I've been using pretty much all the time uh, since the game has been released here in the early access phase. And Irish is, of course, great for fortification, but the coolest thing about Irish, I think, is you spawn with additional armor. So it's going to take two or three more bullets to kill you, and you recover more armor. You actually have the option as any player to run armor plates or any specialist to run armor plates as one of your abilities. But of course, that's going to take away from something. You know, it's going to take away from your extra slottable ability. Yes, what actually would be placed there would be armor plates. But when you comes to Irish, you have those armor plates automatically. So you spawn with extra armor, which is really great. But you also have the deployable shield and the shoot down sentinel. The deployable cover is something you place down, uh, kind of squat down behind. It takes forever to destroy it. I've had tanks shoot at it, you know, planes shoot at it. As long as they're hitting the front of it, it's not going to hurt you. Now, if they get something over the top of you, splash damage, yes, that will kill you. The great thing about it is you can place it by a wall and kind of block, you know, enemies from coming to your left or right. So you can watch one certain way. Great when you get into those big group fights. If you're on new gen or PC, you get into some of these fights around these flags and there's like 30 people on each side fighting in one location. So it's really good for that. Then you have the shoot down sentinel, which is going to stop any grenade or missile being shot at you. So it's kind of like a trophy system if you've played Call of Duty in the past. I'm not sure if this will stop tanks or helicopters if they hit it pretty much directly on it. I'm not sure if it'll blow them up. I haven't had a situation where that's happened yet. It may work for that, but I'm not sure if it does. You may have to test that out for yourself. Keep in mind, these are on cooldown as well. You can place two items out at once. So you can place two shields out. You can place two sentinels out. You can place down a shield and a sentinel. Uh, if you have two items out, for example, if you have two deployable covers out, your stuff comes off cooldown, you decide, I want to place a sentinel down. Once you place that sentinel down, it will take one of those deployable covers away. So just keep that in mind when using Irish. But Irish is great and a must pick either for group or solo play, in my opinion. This is all I ever really use. Irish is one of my favorites. Uh, another great character for group or solo play is Jisoo Pike. Now, of course, a lot of people now are calling her JSP. I don't have her unlocked yet. Unfortunately, she does not unlock to level 25. Uh, of course, when I started playing, you had access to all characters but McKay and Jisoo Pike. 
Uh, Jisoo is OP, and everyone knows how OP she is because she's the one that's been talked about the most, mainly because of that ability to highlight enemies concealed behind cover. So pretty much like wall hacks is what everybody says. Um, a lot of players are reporting that she actually is showing enemies up that are moving when she uses her EMG scanner. EA and DICE said it was supposed to be for enemies that are concealed behind cover that are like sitting or laying down. They you know, aren't on the move. So it's going to kind of be interesting to see how they adjust her ability in the future. I don't think it'll be as strong as it is right now. Um, of course, we're going to have a day one update uh, when the game Standard Edition comes out this week. So they may change her then. Who knows? But another great thing about her is she also uh, highlights enemies that are damaging her. So if somebody shoots at her, they don't kill her, she's going to see a red highlight around that character of, you know, exactly where they're at. And it's going to look just like when she uses her, you know, her pulse, you know, pulse itself. So it's kind of the same look if somebody's shooting at you. She's great for team play because you can give your teammates tons of information. She's also great for solo play. If you're trying to figure out where enemies are, if you're by yourself, uh, Jisoo Pike is definitely a must pick. And last but not least, we have Angel. And I think Angel is good in a solo play because there's not a lot of healers out there. There's not a lot of people picking up or reviving right now. But I think Angel is a must pick for a group because he's a support healer, kind of everything all in one. Uh, you can revive any ally and they gain armor once you revive them. So you have that option to have that defibrillator and pick anyone up, not just your teammates. You also have the option to carry a med kit and a uh, ammo kit so you can throw down ammo and health for your teammates and you have the option to have the loadout call in so the loadout call in is going to drop a loadout in uh, we've seen this in past battlefield games then your teammates can go up to that loadout and change you know their weapon to one of their other loadouts on the fly so let's say you had some loadouts that were for ars or maybe you had a loadout for a sniper or a sub once this uh, loadout crate is placed on the ground you can go up and actually change to another one of those loadouts if you would prefer so overall I think if you're running with a group, uh, sun, uh, one person running Sundance, one person running Irish, one person running Jin Su, and one person running Angel, you're going to have a pretty much an unstoppable team because you have a healer. You have you know access to recon abilities. You have, you have the ability to know where all the enemies are at all times. You have the access to putting down deployable cover. And you also have access to Sundance, who really is going to help out with vehicles. So these are the four best specialists right now, in my opinion. And like I said, you can use pretty much all of these in solo play if you're not playing with a group. If you're playing with friends, if you all pick one and just run one of each of these, you're going to have a, a really good, successful time playing Battlefield 2042, in my opinion. Like I said, this list may change in the future. But leave me a comment. Let me know if you tried any of these specialists just yet. Of course, leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you liked the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. Also check out the merch store, which is linked down in the description as well. I'll catch you all next time.